could you describe this hilarious story you have where Ted goes and meets with his New York book editor? Yeah, that was uh, that was in the screenplay too uh, to kind of set Ted up as a uh, as an author, and he goes he goes to his uh, his editor who just destroys him and calls him basically an feat academic pansy intellectual and Ted says oh thank you you know that's kind of what I was going for <laughs> um, so so Ted writes uh, Ted writes very well I kind of wanted to establish that Ted was a talented writer but had no subject and that's kind of the beauty of, of what happens between him and his father because his father gives him this crazy idea that he can't die until the Red Sox win it all, even though he's dying of cancer. So he gives his father this kind of crazy, high-concept idea, and it turns into the thing that unlocks Ted's genius, in a way. It unlocks his ability to write. He starts to, by the end of the book, he starts to write about something. He's been opened up by his father's love for him. And um, the, the scene that you're um, bringing up is, I think it's funny, and I'll screw it up if I try to remember how it's funny, but uh, the guy, uh, he, he takes the piss out of Ted pretty well as being, um, you know, kind of an academic, dry, um, postmodernist novelist. You know, anybody, anybody but Dom DeLillo. You know, like if anybody else wrote what Don DeLillo wrote, they get that kind of shit, but <laughs> Don DeLillo gets all the praise. Um, so it, it, he's kind of working in Don DeLillo land, but you know, the minor leagues of it, I guess. He says, so, what does the book editor say something to the extent, before you're surreal, you need to be real, yeah. He also says, um, reading the book was like getting hit over the head with a baguette for two hours. <laughs> That makes me laugh. Because <laughs> it's not really that violent. Nobody gets hurt. It's not a, no, a three-day-old baguette. That might hurt. Fresh, fresh baguette. 